This video is only an overview of the parse installation, so be sure to check the website for the current downloadable instructions. Also, refer to a Porsche service manual anytime when performing work on your car. Remember to follow standard safety procedures, including the use of safety glasses, jack stands, and other proper lifting procedures. Hey guys, Daniel here with Elephant Racing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install our quick change strut brace system into a Porsche 993. Our unique quick change strut brace system is available in two configurations, a basic single bar strut brace and an additional full blown X brace. The system is completely upgradable and expandable. The tubes are secured with quick release pins. The mounts are completely bolted in with no welding required. The single bar is the foundation of the system, connecting the strut towers and limiting chassis flex. Inspired by the chassis bracing on 935 race cars, the X brace triangulates the front trunk, further increasing chassis rigidity. I'm going to start the install by installing the mounts for the single bar strut tower brace. Start by loosening the strut mount, just the front mount. Once the nuts are removed, slide the bracket over the studs. The mounting feature should point forwards. Resecure the nuts and snug them through the bracket, but leave the bracket loose enough to be able to move. Now the nuts are turned down, but are loose enough to allow the bracket to shift slightly. This is important for the next step. Now I'm going to install the strut tower bar. Line up one side and insert the quick release pin. Repeat on the other side. If the holes don't line up, rotate the bar to extend it until the holes line up and the pin is inserted freely. Now the bar is assembled and the mounts are still loose. Next, torque the mounts. This allows the mounts to be tightened in a plane where the bar can be installed and removed without force. Next, rotate the bar back and forth until you find the point where there's no preload on the release pin and it can be removed and installed easily. This is the correct adjustment for the bar. Now lock the collar onto the bar on both sides. And now the strut bar is installed. Now I'm going to install the front mount for the X brace. I'm going to start by removing the last two fender bolts here and here. You want to ensure that the plastic washer comes off as well. Next, tighten the mount with the provided hardware with the tabs pointing upwards. Next, I'm going to install the single piece bar from the X kit. To start, remove the quick release pin and the bar so that you can access the pin for this brace. Now I'm going to adjust the bar till it's the correct length to install the other quick release pin. The bar is adjusted properly when the pins can be inserted and removed freely. Once that position is found, rotate the bar until the hole is horizontal. 
Now install the two-piece bar with the knurled portion towards the front of the car. Assemble it through the slot in the other bar. Tightening itself like a pool cue. And tightening by hand. Now align the pins on the front and on the rear. This part is easier with the second person. Rotate the rod to adjust the length until the pin slides in freely. Once in position, lock down the collar nuts. The X brace portion is now assembled and the original strut brace can be reinstalled. Now the quick change chassis brace system is complete. We will need to modify the plastic trims and the carpet if attempting to reassemble. These chassis braces should be installed after the vehicle's been aligned and with the vehicle sitting on a level floor.